Baby, how many times do I have to tell you if you sit this close to the television, you're gonna go blind? Remember a breaking news story. Prison authorities are searching for an inmate that escaped undetected Thursday night. <laughs> Just outside. What's wrong? You think they'll catch him? Yes, son, they'll catch him. I'll come sit at the table and eat your dinner. What if they don't? Stop it, Mikey. You're scaring your sister. Do you think he'll come and get us? He won't come and get us, but he'll come and get you. Michael David, stop it. What was that? I don't know. I'll go check. Put your napkin in your lap, Mikey. Y'all ain't gonna eat? Ain't got no hot sauce around here? What kind of black family don't have hot sauce? What do you want from us? Just a little bit of your time. You know, uh, just keep your doors locked. Keep people like me out. We weren't exactly expecting company. Michael. What are you looking at? I 
You got a good looking family there, Ben. Must be proud. Blessed, man. Blessed to have such a beautiful family. Must be nice. Why'd you break out? Had some things needed doing. Like what? This chair is comfortable, man. Mikey. Man can fall asleep in a chair like Mikey. Michael, right? Mikey. What's up, little man? Why were you in jail? Did you kill somebody? Come here. It's OK. Come here. Come here. I'm not going to hurt you. Your kid got a hearing problem? It's okay. Uh, how old are you? Eight. Eight. Wow. That's a good age. I remember eight. Hamburgers and hot dogs, chicken on the grill, cookouts with your dad. You must remember eight, huh, Ben? Grass under your feet, sun in your face, baseball. Eight was, eight was great, man. I'm gonna be nine in two weeks. No, don't do that. No, 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 don't turn nine, Mike. Mike, whatever you do, don't, don't let this get away from you. You understand? Don't let this get away from you. Looks like it's my time, Ben. What are you gonna do? Run again? No. I'm not running this time. Good evening, sir. Good evening, officer. Sir, are you aware that Michael Pressmore escaped from the correctional facility this evening? I saw that on the news, yes. You haven't heard from him, have you? If he hasn't tried to contact you in any way, well, why would he? Sir, he, he is your brother. Isn't that right? Yes. Yes. I'm here. You know, I, I just don't understand why he came back here. I mean, he must have known that we would come looking for him, right? I suppose. Well, thank you for your time, Mr. and Mrs. Pressmore. If you guys can think of anything else, just give me a call. Thanks. Good night. See you, officer. Can I talk to him in just a couple of minutes, please? Two minutes. Why did you do this? I had to see you, Ben. Why? You never came to see me. <laughs> I think one of us had to initiate a little quality family time. I mean, come on. Breaking out, Michael. Was that really the thing to do? No, you'll just get more time. I had to. I mean, you rejected all of my phone calls. Returned all of my mail. Unopened. <laughs> Look, I, I, sometimes you only get one chance to make things right. I wasn't gonna miss my chance, bro. Do you really think this makes it all right? That this somehow makes a difference? Well, I, mean, I, I ripped off a thousand and one people. The one person I regret ripping off is you.
We gotta go. Time's up.